All right, so we got Arena Breakout Infinite official release announcement trailers. Go to video. Oh, is that a tank? More fun studios, okay. Let's see what this is about. Oh, flash big! Oh, is it the army men? Okay, so this is actual in-game footage right here. Ooh. Arena Breakdown Infinite. Play for free and early access available. Wow, okay. <laughs> Wowzers. All right, okay. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. Now, I've seen a lot of FPSs in my life. I've seen, like, uh, especially, bro, this year, bro, a lot of FPSs, you know, definitely tried to, like, deliver. You got games like uh, X Defiant. Uh, you got games like, obviously, like, of course, Call of Duty. That's I don't even have to mention that, but... Uh, just in case you know, you guys forgot about that one. Call of Duty X Defiant, uh, bro. Another game that I'm really impressed by, bro. Delta Force, um, bro. That FPS was just crazy. I was actually gonna mention that in like two seconds later, but um, this game right here, I was about to say it's kind of like a um, like a Delta Force, like it, it looks like Delta Force a little bit, but also it kind of it, it kind of like gives me like vibes of like um, what's the one game? That one game. Oh my God. Oh, Escape from Turkov. I'm getting major Escape from Turkov slash Delta Force type of games, whatever. Because, like, whenever, like, I, like, bro, I've been playing Call of Duty for so long. Bro, I've been playing Call of Duty ever since I was, like, up, like, bro. Like, no lie, nine years old. Nine, ten years old. I got called every word, uh, like, under the sun. It is what it is. <laughs> listen. Or, listen. Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 3, uh, Black Ops 2. See, bro, those games, bro, if, if you're a young, if you were, you know, a young man back then, bro, those games built character. Because let me tell you something, bro, I got called every uh, name under the, bro, bro, every name, bro, every name that you can think of, races, uh, whatever. I got called every name. I mean, listen, it is what it is. I don't really, you know, sit here and complain about it. Um, I, listen, when I was a kid, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought it was, bro, they was calling me every, like, every, like, word in the sun. I thought it was funny at first, but, um, like, having those games, like, like, growing up on, like, Call of Duty or whatever, and obviously, like, all those games were different, but as, at the same time, you could still tell it was Call of Duty. Does that make sense? Like, obviously, like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 2, even though, like, you know, they're two complete different, like, Yo, if this i this iPhone is like, bro, this, it's undefeated whenever it comes to interrupt me. But you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna handle you later. But listen, you get what I'm saying. Like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and then Call of Duty Black Ops 2 were completely different. Completely different. Obviously, one is a part of the Modern Warfare series. One is a part of the Black Ops series. One had Treyarch. The other one had um, um, Activision. So like the play styles were different. Um, like like the visual sense, it was different. But at the same time, it still looked kind of like the same. Um, what do you call it? Like, obviously, Modern Warfare 2 had, like, the sniping. Black Ops 2 had the sniping as well. But, like, it was much more... I think it was... I think it was just... I think it was faster. I think I think it was just, just straight, just fast-paced. Modern Warfare 2 was, a, was just a stop and pop. Like, you know, you see somebody, you pull out the, uh, what, the intervention, you sniping people. Uh, it, was, it was hectic. But whenever it came down to Black Ops 2, like, it was, like, it was very fast-paced and stuff like that. But at the same time, you can still tell it was Call of Duty. Does that make like? It, I hope that makes sense, to, like to somebody. But um, now you know we got more. You know, uh, FPSs like X Defiant, 
uh, Delta Force. You got uh, Escape from Turkov. A lot of these other like different um, FPSs. And if I'm being honest with you, bro, this kind of gave me like Delta Force vibes. Um, I wouldn't really say like I, I don't think it gave me like any X Defiance vibes at all. It was more like Delta Force, um, which is something because bro, Delta Force didn't even come yet. I don't think De is that the Force. Wait, hold up. The Delta Force come out because like, bro, I've been on Delta Force like for like the past what month. And I know like a beta came out for them, but I don't think the actual Delta Force. Hold on a second. Is the game out? Give me one second. Uh, uh, release trailer, release date. Okay, so the uh, Delta Force Hawk Ops comes out 2025. It gave me major De uh, Delta Force vibes. I can't lie to you. So if I'm being honest with you, like I, I don't like dislike it. The gunplay was actually pretty nice. Um, I like how they had like the army men down uh, down here as well. Um, but to be honest with you, bro, a lot of games, games like this, games like Delta Force, games like this right here, um, they're very like military based games. You know, if they understand, like they they gave a very old school Call of Duty. Cause bro, old school Call of Duty, bro, like Call of Duty Two and Call of Duty Three. It was mainly just, okay, it was United States versus this country or whatever. Um, and you're just duking it out. You're just shooting it out. Da, 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 da. Now, bro, like in Call of Duty, you got like different storylines. And, you know, you got one guy having bombs over here. Then Task 141 coming through and trying to help. Then you got, uh, you got Woods over here trying to come out of retirement. Like, it's just crazy. So, um, the difference in just in the story it's crazy. So, and then you like you have like a lot of these military type of games where it's just you know just the mission is the mission. You knocking down, you going to the buildings, whatever. You you hitting every corner. And so, if I'm being honest with you, um, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. The gunplay was actually pretty nice. There wasn't really anything that I didn't like, especially uh, gameplay wise. So, uh, comment down below, man. What do you think about Arena Breakout Infinite? Because everything's about.